Hey everyone, welcome. It's Ryan and Mel here for this week's video. Where are we going, babes? Mayaka State Park, uh, located in Sarasota or near Sarasota, I'm not quite sure. I'm falling ways. Yep, yeah, I'll put a little map, like a uh, little Google zoomy thingy somewhere here. But yeah, so we're heading to Mayaka River State Park. Uh, we're only going to be there one night, so this is kind of a test run. I saw it when I was looking for interesting elevated bridges and walkways, and supposedly there is a really nice elevated walkway uh, for bird watching here. So we are going to be testing out Mel's super 600 millimeter zoom lens. Yeah, so we're going to go check this place out. This is definitely just a test trip. We're going to be car camping this time um, in our Telluride and kind of get in the lay of the land, see what you can do there. But supposedly there's, again, it's Mayaka River, so there's kayaking opportunities, there's bike trails, uh, there's camping and RVing and I believe cabins. We'll go into more detail as we bring you this weekend's adventure. All right, everybody. So we are on 275 South and we are at the Sun Coast, uh, Sunshine Skyway, I should say, not Sun Coast, Sunshine Skyway. The scariest bridge in Florida. <laughs> it's really cool if you can actually catch the cruise ships going in and out of port down here. They usually get here around six o'clock if it's a 3.30, four o'clock departure. Uh, you know, seven o'clock if it's later in the day. They're doing, what do they call it? Par parasurfing? Wind, wind surfing. Hopefully you guys saw some of that. We're coming up to the main uh, bridge up here. I am trying to hold my 360 camera and not have it die because of all the wind. Maybe we'll see if we get some good shots. But yeah, this is a really cool overall bridge. It's very beautiful at night with the lights all done up. So, worth a look. It's very choppy today too. Yeah, water's very choppy today. There's also really good fishing. This bridge, the new bridge, was built because a ship ran into the old one, so. Yeah, back in the 80s, I think it was, a cargo ship. Yeah. Here we are, folks, the top of the Sunshine Skyway. There's the other side of the, the bridge here. Oh. Yeah. They usually do a 10K that goes over this bridge as well. That's usually the uh, first weekend in March, I believe. I don't remember. It's usually... It's, it's early in the year. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's in March, though, because we usually go to the Fort Lauderdale Highland Games. And on the way back, we always have to check to see if the bridge is open or closed. Well, there you have it. You guys have officially gone over the scariest bridge in the state of Florida. All right. We'll bring you some more sights as we continue to make our way south. So some good news. It looks like Mayaka has lifted the open fire ban that has been in place for a while because uh, we have really been in a severe drought here in Florida. Uh, but CJ and Christine left a little bit earlier today and are going to meet us there. And they said that as long as you have a fire in the provided rings at the sites, you can have open campfires. So, yay! So, we're going to Walmart. Oh, yeah, what are we doing, babes? We're going to Walmart. 
Yep, they got some wood, but we need some fire starters. So that's what we're going to grab before we get down there with them. So let's head into Walmart. All right, I saved you the Walmart joy. Needless to say, fire starters onward. Hopefully now we will finally make it there. Let's get going. Well, that was pretty cool. As soon as we come in, there's a deer right there at the entrance. Holy crap. Fingers crossed that we have a good weekend. All right, so we are officially here. Right now, CJ is trying to sweet talk the ranger into letting us check into our site early. I think officially check in is not till three, but we're gonna see if we can get checked in early. We are officially car camping. If you've never been car camping, it's exactly what it sounds like. You sleep in your car. So we brought some blow up air mattresses, lay the back seats down, throw the mattress in there, stay at an RV slash tent campsite, and then basically use the facilities to shower and all that kind of stuff like you would if you were primitive camping. All right, so we're gonna head into this little itty bitty gift shop, which is the first gallery and gifts that you can take a peek at when you first come in the south entrance which is where we are it's the one that's open all year long every day of the week north entrance is usually just for the weekends because of the high traffic but let's go take a look and see what we got in here and then supposedly there's a bigger one called the outpost so we'll take a look at that a little bit later so yeah a couple of shirts right now because they have non-potable water uh, there is some complimentary gallons here with the hurricane that came through last year it really messed up the uh, plumbing system here so yeah this one's just very small just a little taste of what is available a couple of shirts And as you can see, there is a lot to do. So we're going to grab a gallon of water and head back out and find our site because we were able to check in. So let's go get the cars parked and on with the day. So looking at the map, you know, it's less than two miles to get to the canopy walkway. So I think that's going to be our first stop. It's an elevated walkway and I'm trying to remember how tall it is. Uh, I don't know. We'll get you that details when we get there. Uh, but it is an elevated walkway that lets you, you know, see the top of the trees and bird walks and look out onto the marshlands. All right, we are on the way. Alrighty, well, we are biking our way up to the bird trail. And it's not too bad. It's a regular paved road. But you do need to be careful 
with all the cars and oversized RVs that pop through here every now and then. Well, we are just riding here, heading up to the bird walk. Nice open prairie area. Definitely gonna come back a little bit later, closer to dusk and see if we can capture uh, some nice wildlife of the evening. There's a power line area that CJ and Christine found a while ago where the deer like to congregate. So fingers crossed that we can catch some tonight. Ooh, turkey, turkey, turkey. This bike ride is pretty cool in Mayaka State Park. It is flat. I have the old fashioned bike without the pedal assist, so it's a very easy ride. And there's some trees part of the way that cover the roadway, but most of it is in the sun. And the road is not too terrible. It is, it is worn to be honest, but it is not in any way comparable to like 285 in Atlanta. But you gotta keep your eye out because you can see deer. Well, we've seen deer, we've seen hogs, uh, we've seen gators, turkeys. So I'm kind of excited to see what else we're gonna see here. The scenery is just beautiful. This is typical Florida. You got the, the, the huge oak trees, the moss, the palms. We'll see what else we can find. All right, so here we are heading towards the canopy walk. It actually looks like it's fairly short, to be honest, a lot shorter than I was anticipating. Until you're up there, and then you're like, oh, that's a longer than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to head up. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll get back to you when we make it up these steps. All right, off we go. There seems to be a tree here. There we go. <laughs> Continuing our way up. Onward. All right, so 76.1 feet. It's the top here of the crow's nest. Pretty cool views. Well, it was pretty cool. I actually wish it was a little bit longer, but not bad. About 40 feet was that bridge walking across and then 76 at the crow's nest. So a pretty cool short experience. So if you're kind of afraid of heights and want little baby steps, it's a good place to take a look. Onward to our next adventure. 
which I believe is going to be a bike ride up towards the uh, bird walk and hopefully do some bird watching. All right, we are heading out now to the little bird walk area. Let's go see what we can see. Alrighty, well, we did the canopy walk and the bird walk, so now we are gonna pedal back to the camp, I think, and take a load off for a bit. Or maybe we'll stop by the gift post and the outpost, who knows, we'll see. So up here at the outpost, looks like they do have rentals that you can get. Do need to check the website for availability. Also, this since this is a state park, there are no drones allowed. Not every day you see a sign that says, warning, vultures may cause damage to vehicles. All right, let's take a look here at the outpost. So it looks like here at the outpost, there is a little uh, food truck here. Got some gator bites with jalapeno ranch, fries, hot dogs, chicken tenders, pulled pork. Looks like they have a nice little variety of stuff here. So we're gonna head upstairs and actually get an icy. Cause I like me some Slurpees. Actually, with that being said, comment below. Is it an Icy or is it a Slurpee? Make if sure you comment. If it's from 7-Eleven, it's a Slurpee. If it's from anywhere else, it's an Icy. Ooh, you guys hear that? Those are some fighting words. Merchandise, merchandise, merchandise. Merchandising. Mm. This gift shop is definitely more advanced than the first one we saw. All right, just like that, there's the gift shop. Well, there was a little misunderstanding. No, there nice. were no ICs. Yeah, no, no, there was ice cream. But still, I hope you commented below on if it's a Slurpee or an icy. It's a big, big discrepancy and uh, debate over what's the right one. For the record, it's an icy. I think he got something. What do you guys think? Oh, he totally got something. Well, that was pretty cool. I thought uh, that Egret was creeping away from me, but he was actually creeping towards dinner. A lot of these shots, let's be honest, is either patient or being in the right place at the right time. This last shot, right place, right time. It's amazing what you can see out there. Well, looks like Mel has stopped up ahead seeing what she has found. to say that was an amazing find with the deer and the fawn. Holy moly. 
You gotta keep your eyes open. All right, we're coming up to the alligator bridge. Let's see what we got. It's an alligator meeting. That one's a big boy. Sure is. Yep. Oh, there's a spoon bill that's uh, pink. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a uh, pink rose something spoon bill. There's one on the other side too. I see one on the bank. All right, so we're back at our camp. We'll do a quick tour because we actually never did a tour earlier today. So let's look at our arrangements here. CJ and Christine got this freaking fabulous pop-up tent. This thing literally took 60 seconds to pull up because it's all just pop-up with everything built in and sewn in. The only two manual poles you had to put in, which were at the front entrance. So it's a really cool deal. These are our accommodations tonight. We are car camping. So basically just a blow up mattress in the back of the car. Got some windscreens that uh, darken and keep the bugs out so we can have the windows down if we want and black out stuff. And then we rigged up a bungee cord system with a towel to block some of the sunlight from the front. So that'll be nice. Since we're in a campsite, that has power, we're able to run some cords to do all the charging we need. CJ and Christine have a similar setup, except they got a blow-up mattress that actually fits to the contour of the back of their car. And so that is what we're doing tonight, and that's our accommodations. Really just car camping here in an RV spot. So we're gonna take a load off after that long bike ride. You guys have to agree, there was some awesome nature we saw today. So we're gonna chill for a bit. We'll be back at you a little bit later on tonight. We are gonna to try to go out to see some deer at dusk and then have nice uh, burgers and dogs on the campfire tonight. All right, we are out for our evening bike ride. So we're trying to go to the power lines where most of the deer go around the evening. We're eyeballing things along the way just in case we see something else. Awesome. All right, so CJ and I have come back to the canopy, walk at night with our cool little light up headbands. We're gonna hike to the top again, we'll be 76 feet above uh, the ground and above the canopies. Hopefully we'll see some stars, have the GoPro, maybe we'll get some night lapses, but let's go ahead and head on up. So there is the, that's the bridge we walked around earlier today. Morning everyone, it's about 6.30. I've got my coffee percolator. Can't survive without coffee, you guys know that. So we've got our uh, camp stove here. So I am uh, making coffee for us so we can actually get enough energy to start the day. 
we'll be back. <laughs> All right, start the camera now. Oh, okay, okay. All right, everyone. Thank you guys for enjoying the quick overnight camping trip that we've done here at Mayaka River State Park. As you can see, there was a lot of wildlife, but surprisingly, guys, it was like near the road versus back on yeah. the back roads. Yeah, exactly. I was very surprised, but definitely worth the trip. I think we're going to be back with a surprise that by the time this comes out, you'll already know what the surprise is, but I'm not saying it right now anyway, on principle. But we'll see you next time. So make sure you hit that like notify and subscribe it doesn't cost you anything it really helps the channel out and we'll catch you next time on the scenic route